And this is our new chicken coop. Got a land box on the end. And a peep window. I think they're scared of me and they seem to be protecting the rooster. The rooster got his flock of hens on guard. Well, life's been real crazy lately. But me and mom just went to Repticon. I wasn't planning on a video on much. Just because I wanted to be able to enjoy seeing the animals this time. And not worry about what I was getting on camera. But I still took my camera. And I'm glad I did because I did get some good footage. And as always... I met some really cool people. So sit back and enjoy the show. The other girl on uh, eBay was selling for 35 so I may as well buy it here. Buy two for 34 one for 39 So yeah, get it for me. Yeah, it might be gone, but we'll see. Well, my guys with Quirky Snakes were back. They bring some beautiful corn snakes. Salmon corn snake. One day I'll probably have another corn. I love them. I just really don't have the room for that size enclosure right now. I'm sticking with the tiny snakes. Okay, so every show I go to, I meet some really cool new people. And some really stick out. You know, the people that I remember and hopefully do business with for quite some time. And the coolest new guy I met at this show, Turtle Man Dan. This guy seems like a blast. I really want to hang out with him. He invited me to do a couple of really cool things which I'll be making some videos on in the future, because I'm definitely going to take him up on the offer. Oh, and if you couldn't tell by the name, he sells a wide variety of turtles and frogs. Some really cool ones, too. Like this guy. Man, he is cool. buddy? And check out this pancake-looking frog. Females will actually lay the eggs on the back of the males, and they'll pop like little bustles and have a fully formed frog like pop out. It's like pop. He actually told me when he first got an order in of them that he thought the whole order had been squished. <laughs> and what, what kind did you say it was again? This is the Peepa Peepa Frog, also known as a surname. Surname, okay. Man, that was cool. They're so weird. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh yeah, I forgot I held his monitor. Or maybe she held me. Man, these things got claws like my squirrel. You better be down for the calls if you think you want to hold one of these. Come on, good girl. Can I steal some sand flies? Oh, now she's being a, a butt pain in the butt. Come on, girl. Come on, sweetie. There we go. Nah, she won't bite. She's a sweetheart. She went claw you down there. Ah, my next favorite part of the day. My friends from Reptile 101 are here. They run a petting zoo. And I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. If you go to a show and you see these guys, please check them out. Tell them I sent you. I got to let Louie hold his first super dwarf retic back in the day. It's been, what, two years? Yeah. I think about two years. That was my first reptile show ever. Was it really? Yeah. I'm just glad you get to finally come in the zoo, you know? Check out this beautiful red tail, Boa. The zoo to Repticon, yeah. So Reptile 101 opened in 2019, but we didn't start doing Repticons until 2022, last year. Yeah. And this is the first time I held a Madagascar giant hog nose. I'm really curious to know what the venom is like on these. Because I already know what it's like in a western. I would imagine that these have a decent sized venom gland. But she had no desire to bite me. This is a Nile monitor. And this big old fella has some sharp claws so no handling this guy. But he did let me pet him. Remember the lizard from that's a dragon. I'm not a lizard, I'm a dragon. Oh yeah, check out this land crab. Ooh, they got all kind of little sharp points on them. Man, that's so cool. wonder what they taste like. And here we go with another monitor. This is a black tail monitor. Yeah, this is Nick. Uh, look, look at baby. Yeah, I don't normally wear gloves with her, but I haven't clipped her nails in a little bit. Yeah. So, and they will tear you uh, Their nails are so sharp. They're such good climbers. Oh, and another first. So this is Pudge. Um, I've had Pudge for going on 10 years now. Pudge is around 12 years old. She was actually my first Leechianus gecko. This is a lychee, or a Leechianus gecko. And this is the first one I ever held. Oh, so 
know. So she wants to get to the top of the tree. Yep. I knew that they were supposed to feel really cool, like silk or velvet, but you really can't even imagine it until you feel one. I heard people talk about how they feel like silk. Yeah. And here's one of my favorite animals of the show. A crazy bull snake. Man, these things are so much fun. All drama, like a big old hog nose. And guys, don't worry. No dwarves will hurt in the filming of this video. You should feel how much these jokers vibrate. <laughs> You're so funny. I love bulls. They're one of my favorites. God, it feels so cool. It's like a feel vibrating? Yeah. It's all air that's being built up. Yeah. And they love to put on a show. Yeah, what a fun little noodle. Okay, and now the pinnacle. My favorite moment of the show and my ultimate dream animal. And this is the first time that I ever got to touch one. Andy already peed on someone earlier today. So <laughs> they were like, is he peeing? I'm like, and I never would have thought it would start with a hug. What an absolute dream. Dwarf two years came in. Can get relatively docile in captivity, but this one in particular, he's a very special dude. He actually seems to enjoy the handling, and really the only reason his mouth is taped is because we're at a show. And you know, legality. And it is a crocodile, so it's better to be safe than sorry, but he's so chill. I'm definitely building a crazy enclosure for one of these in the future. Well, I made it back from Repticon. I got the starter bin for some springtails and isobines. I got this new enclosure that I didn't know I was getting because my mom surprised me. And this is the new house for my Versicolor, who's in that enclosure. And as you can see, it's starting to outgrow it. And I had to grab me some crickets because, you know, spiders eat them. And my man at Bioterrestrial gave me this plant. It's called a white wizard. It's variegated. There's not a lot of white on it yet, but it'll come in. It turns into a really cool looking plant. That plant, this plant are all starters. For my future bioactives, still yet to come. Oh, and I almost forgot I got this bag of terra firma from my friends at Zippies, the same place I got the springtails and isopods, to add some more dirt to this enclosure for my king snake, Mr. B. And if you missed that last build, the one right there over my shoulder, you should probably go check out my video. It's pretty epic. And until next time, y'all have a good one. Well, obviously the white one is the leader in the pack. I guess I can't say that in 2023, can I? My bad. <laughs>